This boy smiles when he sees a camera. <laughs> he like knows. Like, oh, a camera is supposed to smile now. He's like a YouTube professional baby. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Good afternoon. Hi. Welcome back. Today is a gray and rainy day, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, so Mackenzie just finished most of her school and I'm about to take her to her PE class. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I have some other errands I wanna to do today. Some last minute Christmas gifts I'm hoping to find. Uh, I need to make some freezer breakfasts, at least one freezer breakfast. And maybe we're gonna get the ingredients to make our gingerbread houses. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to make the gingerbread houses until this weekend, but we can at least get the ingredients. Should we do that? Yeah, and good thing we can do most for ourselves because baby's sleeping. Yeah, Griffin's sleeping right now. Jackson and Lily went with their dad today and they are on a trip to San Francisco because they have some things they need to do there. And we hopefully will see them later. I'm hoping to get our Christmas cards done to either today or tomorrow. I'm so far behind on that. But at least, I, you know, it's kind of better late than never, I think. So are you ready to go? Yeah. We're actually not running late yet. Yet. We better go. Yeah. All right. We made it to Kenzie's PE class, and we almost weren't late. But when I got in the car, I realized that I was almost on empty, and I absolutely had to stop for gas. Now generally, my husband, he's such a sweet guy, he fills up my tank for me on a regular basis. And when he doesn't have time to do that, I definitely notice. But I, I don't feel like I take it for granted either because I do appreciate it every time he does that. So thanks, honey, if you're watching this. That was not a long enough nap for Griffin. So hopefully he'll give me a few more minutes here before I have to grab him out. But, so Mackenzie's class is only about an hour and so I don't really have a lot of time to go and do much. There is a consignment store, a children's consignment store nearby that I might go check out. I'd like to find some new church shoes for the kids if they have any. Um, it's cold and rainy now and so we need some some new shoes and I'd like to try to find those used if possible and save some money. But before I go and do that, I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you guys about what my purpose is for this channel and what I'd like to see and what I don't like to see. Um, first off, I really enjoy the community aspect that this channel brings. I love to share ideas and I love to hear the ideas that you guys have and the dialogue that we can have back and forth and have a community like that. I think that is awesome. In, in my experience, I have learned so much from other YouTubers, um, life things, just general ideas, maybe craft things, um, just mommy things. And, and I'd like to share some of the things that I've learned, but I am in no way an expert um, at, any, at anything. I am learning as I go, and I invite you to come on that journey with me. But, so when I state my my thoughts on something or the way I do something, that is just the way I do it. I'm not saying that you need to do it that way or my way is the only way. Like I said, I'm still figuring out. I don't have all the answers. Sometimes I don't have any answers. And so um, I love constructive criticism and ideas and tips that you guys share with me. Um, but I have to say recently... As, as I have more subscribers and putting out more videos, I am getting a lot more not so constructive criticism. And uh, I just, I want to respect everybody's opinion and, I, and I, want, I would hope for them to respect mine. And I want this channel to be a place where we can come together and share ideas, like I said. Um, I want it to be like a safe place for everybody. I don't want to. I would like to not see people um, fighting over different opinions and just agree to disagree if that needs to be the case. So, just so you know, if you if you're new here, I don't normally do heart to heart talks like this. I try to keep it light and show the fun aspect of family life. Also, you know, ups and downs, but I try to keep it light on the light side generally. Um, 
but we are homeschoolers. I do have four children. Uh, we, we do go to church and we are um, omnivores. So we are not vegetarian. So if any of those things bother you, um, hopefully we can agree to disagree. And I, I, uh, I hope that you will not leave me some mean comments about it. That's just who we are. If that's not who you are, like I totally respect that and hopefully that respect can go both ways. I <laughs> I hope I didn't lose you guys. If you're still with me, thanks. Um, Mackenzie is, like I said, in her PE class and Griffin and I are going to go check out a local consignment store, but we only have a little bit of time before I have to pick her up. So let's go. I don't want to play more than four seconds of that because I don't want to get in trouble, but you guys, if you haven't seen the movie Moana, go see it. And if you want to have some great music in the car, buy the soundtrack because it is awesome. I love that movie. I highly recommend it. And not just because, not just because I'm a Disney fan, but it is such a heartwarming movie. I love it. And the soundtrack is awesome. Also, the movie Trolls has an awesome soundtrack, and kids love it too. So, anyway, I literally have only about 15 minutes to look around in this consignment store, which is just not enough time, but we'll see what we can see. And if I find anything, I'll show you. Hi, Griffin. <laughs> so, we just made it back to Kenzie's PE class, and she still has about 10 minutes. So, we're going to check out this year in review on... Ooh, on Facebook. Hopefully it's not copyright. I don't know. Maybe I just not play the music. And maybe I'll feed this guy if he needs a snack and then we'll go get Kenzie. Let's see. Should we play it? Let's play it. Don't touch. No touching. <laughs> Oh, there's Kenzie and you guys. Oh, and Griffin is a baby. Oh, sisters. We went to Hawaii. Look at that. And Disneyland. Yeah. There's mommy. Thumbs up. Yay. <laughs> What'd you think? It's been a good year. I'm glad that you're here with us this year. We have a couple minutes before Kenzie's done, and I fed him, and he's just a happy guy, but look. Oh no, do you want to see yourself? Oh, there you are. Oh, you gonna grab it? Yeah. There's Kenzie. Hi. How did it go, Kenzie? Awesome. I was waiting in the lobby of her PE class, and some of the kids were like, oh, look at that baby, look at his eyes. Because he looked just like that, and I was like, yes blue is this baby's color oh. yeah i know i know all mommies think our babies are cute but look at this guy since we just have you two why don't we go to winco and get the ingredients we need to make our gingerbread houses okay so you might have noticed that we are not at winco we are at home we had to take a little detour because this guy was super grumpy in the car and I think he just wanted me to hold him. So we stop at the house and we are going to just grab some lunch here. Kenzie's back to her schoolwork. So with her homeschool, I know exactly how much she needs to get done each day to be finished um, at the end of the year. So as long as she gets ah. <laughs> the workload for the day done, ah. oh no, and she understands it and retains it, that's what I'm, that's my goal. It's good enough for ah. me. There he is. We just got to Winco, and I'm gonna load him up in my Ergo because he's still being grumpy. And I really think it's just teething. Unfortunately, he's having a hard time with teething. Aw, poor baby. But I wanted to get my phone out really quick and check on my gingerbread house glue recipe. So I, we've made these gingerbread houses a couple years now, but I always forget the glue recipe. 
All right, so here's a picture of the gingerbread house that we're going to be making. I just wanna make sure I have plenty of glue. So I'm on my Pinterest right now. I love Pinterest, you guys. I'm like a pinaholic. So if you are into Pinterest, I invite you to follow me on Pinterest at the Family Fudge. Just look up Family Fudge and you can follow. All right, we got little Griffin loaded up. Let's go get some stuff for our gingerbread houses. Sometimes grocery stores have the cutest Christmas stuff. Check out this Mickey Mouse. He lights up, but he's $34. That seems kind of expensive, but it's nice and heavy. That's cool. And look at this little advent calendar tree. This is so cute. I wonder, oh, you take them off and then they can be an ornament on the tree. This one's already open. I did not open that, you guys. It was already open. Okay, Kenzie, here's what you're getting for Christmas. It's a lump of coal. A lump of coal. Have you been naughty? No. <laughs> Winco's awesome because you can get all of these candies in bulk. So you can just buy the amount that you need and not too much. All right, we made it home from Winco and I just got Griffin down for a nap. Mackenzie is back to work on her school, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta finish your math, mm -hmm. don't forget. <laughs> and she's got some reading to do. She says she's not feeling very well. So hopefully she's not coming down with something. So I got my apron on. I need to make my pancakes because I'm hoping to make some freezer pancakes. Um, John and the other kids are still gone to San Francisco. So it's nice and quiet. And I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can before they get home. But before I get started on the pancakes, I wanted to show you what I found at the consignment store and what we picked up from Winco for our gingerbread houses. All right, so I went in looking for church shoes, but I came out with Christmas outfits. So I went ahead and grabbed some hangers so that I could show these to you better. But these are the things I found at the consignment store today, and they're gonna be perfect for Christmas. So first we have this sweet little dress for Lily. It has a black velvet top with long sleeves, a cream colored bottom with this cute ruched detailing and a nice underskirt. But this is pretty wrinkled, so if you guys have any tips on how to get wrinkles out of satin, um, let me know in the comments down below. And this was $10. For Kenzie, I found this dress. This is actually a size bigger than she needs, but I thought she could probably grow into it. This is a Jonah Michelle brand, which I know they sell at Costco for about $20 generally. And this one was, $10 and it's almost practically brand new. And then for Jackson, I found this Gymboree brand sweater. And the, the brand, <laughs> the Gymboree tag is still on it. This is brand new, never worn. And it was originally 39, marked down to 29, and I got it for 12 at the consignment store. So those are the things for the big kids. I actually already had an outfit that my mom gave me for Griffin and it's like a three-piece like suit with a vest, and this came from Walmart. There you go, there are the Christmas fashions for my kids. All right, so let me show you what I got from Winco to make our mini gingerbread houses. And these are not made with gingerbread at all, they're actually made with graham crackers. So I picked up this family size box and an extra box just in case these ones break. You wanna have some backup just in case. And hopefully I'll be showing you how I make those on a separate video, the, the houses. And then we got some plates because we're going to put our houses on these plates. Let's see. I picked up some Cinnamon Life cereal and I like to put these on the roof of my gingerbread house as like shingles. Plus I like to eat the leftovers, they are super yummy. And then we got a ton of candy. These are like red hot cinnamon candies. We got two different kinds of sprinkles. We got some peppermint candies in both red and green. Some Christmas colored candy corns. These are gumdrops. And they're, they smell like toothpaste. 
in some holiday mint M&Ms. Now I was trying to look for more colorful candies, but they were out of the colorful gumdrops and I didn't really find any other colorful like little candies. So it looks like we're going for an all red and green theme for our gingerbread houses this year. I almost forgot to show you my huge bag of powdered sugar. Now at Winco, you can get powdered sugar for 61 cents a pound. So I went ahead and got um, six scoops full, which is about six cups. And hopefully that will be enough glue for our gingerbread houses because this is one activity that we all like to do. Even my husband and I will get into the action and make our own. And it gets a little competitive to see who can make the better, the better gingerbread house. But to tell you the truth, I think it's me. <laughs> anyway, while the kids, while Griffin's still sleeping, I'm gonna hopefully get my pancakes for the freezer done. So that's, the, that's next on my list. I'm finally getting to do these pancakes. I've had to put Griffin back down to his nap for like, like three times. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and throw these pancakes together. This is the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix from Trader Joe's. And the awesome thing about this recipe is that you just throw it in, mix it up, and there's nothing special. So I'm adding, right now I have four eggs. I'm gonna add some butter and some water, and that's it. Actually, I think instead of using butter, I'm gonna melt some of this coconut oil and use that instead. Okay, so if you are a trained chef or a cook, uh, don't watch this because I'm just making this happen. Everybody's got their own opinions on, of how to, how to do everything, whether it's make food or raise kids or what you should and shouldn't eat. Um, and I get a lot of people sharing comments like that on my YouTube videos. And, you know, it's kind of expected when you put yourself out there on YouTube that you're going to get some negative feedback. But sometimes there are thir certain comments made that do, do hurt and they sting. And I don't understand why people feel the need to say the things they do or, or to be so hurtful or nasty or mean. I don't, I don't get that. I just, why can't everybody just get along, you know? I just want... I just want everybody to be nice, but you know that's not reality. So, one of the comments I got recently was about why am I feeding my kids gluten-free foods when, you know, are they, do they have celiacs, and did I know that it's bad to feed them gluten-free food if they're not? And here's the answer. They have not been diagnosed with celiac disease, but their, um, their father has, and several of his family members have. A lot of times when I'm making something that the whole family's gonna eat, I'll make it gluten-free because, you know, I want him to be able to eat it too. So that means that yes, I do feed my kids gluten-free foods, but they do not, as far as I know, have celiac disease. I do believe that they probably, at least one or two of them, have a sensitivity to wheat. Add a little bit more water to this. But no, they have not been diagnosed. So I wanna know from you guys out there, if, if you guys have celiacs, if anybody in your family does, what do you do? Do you make completely separate meals for the person who needs it? Or do you allow you know, family, other family members to also eat gluten-free? I wanna hear from you nutritionists out there who actually have knowledge about this, because I feel like there's a lot, with, with food and diet, there's a lot of misinformation out there about what's right and what's wrong, and everybody has their opinion. I have a hard time believing that any one person has all the answers on what's right and what's wrong. And I feel like you just have to do what's right, what you feel is right for your family and your situation. And I really, I feel disappointed that other people or feel the need to judge you on that. You know, everybody's just trying to do the best they can with what they've got and the situation that they're in. And I don't think people, I don't know, maybe they think they're being helpful, I don't know. But anyway, there's another heart to heart for you. I know, there's like two heart to heart talks in the same day. It's like a record for me. 
All right, so while these are bubbling up, there's one more thing that I've been getting a lot of comments on recently, and that is when I mentioned that we have our own chickens for meat and for eggs, I got a lot of comments about how could you kill the poor chicken and blah, blah, blah. And I just have to say that number one, let me flip this. Number one, our chickens are not our pets. Like I can understand if we had a emotional attachment to our, our animals that yes, if I could not cook my own pet, that would be awful. But no, we don't kill our pets. They are meant for food. And if you are raised on a farm, you totally can get where I'm coming from. Or if you eat meat, you have to understand, you know, the food chain and how it works. I hope that didn't offend anybody. I just wanted to address that. Now I'm gonna take these off. All right, I got my pancakes done and they're ready to go in the freezer. Although there were missing a few because now my family's home and some of them got eaten already. So I'm going to stick those back in the freezer. I'm going to mix up some emergency and then I've got some mail to open. A lot of air. A box within a box. That seems a little wasteful. All right, I got some vitamins in the mail. These are prenatal vitamins. No, I'm not currently pregnant, but since I'm still nursing, I like to have these. And no, did not pay me to say that. I just really like these. And then, I think this is a toy for some little boy whose birthday is this weekend. Let me see. I don't think he'll be watching this video, so it's probably fine for me to show it. Oh, it is a toy. Let's give you a little sneak peek. Oh, there it is. Okay guys, it's a little bit past midnight. We got the kids to sleep a few hours ago and man, did they fight me on that tonight. They did not want to go to bed, but I was ready for them to go to bed for sure. Today seemed like a really long day, but I know I talked a lot today about um, being judgmental and and <laughs> not leaving mean comments and things like that, but I hope it wasn't too much of a downer for you guys. One of the things I like to do is find inspirational quotes on Pinterest, and I found one today that I thought was pretty helpful, and I wanted to share it with you. And it goes like this. Let me see if I can find it. It says, anyone can find the dirt in someone. Be the one that finds the gold. And I really like that quote. It's a great reminder to not try to find fault with things that people do. It's not nice to be nitpicky, but to be that person that can find the good in others and lift them up and be encouraging. That'll be my goal for sure. So I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.